Hi. Just gonna sit on the counter. Let's have a one-to-one, -one, shall we? Everything's okay, don't worry. So guys, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel, I hope you're doing well. Um, okay, so yeah, I wasn't here last week. I decided to take um, the week off from uploading. Only because I got to a place in my mind where I was a little bit like, ooh, I don't really know what to put out. So I'm not gonna actually force myself to put anything out. I have the best job in the world. I never want anyone to think I'm ungrateful, but sometimes if you're constantly on your own and um, I don't know, I just, I felt, I felt like I ran out of ideas for a YouTube video and I know so many of you would literally watch me paint a wall for an hour and be happy and I'm so grateful for that, but for me, I just, I, I'm, I feel like I'm more of a perfectionist than I think I am. Um, especially when it comes to my channel, I really want to don't. I really want to put out content that I enjoy doing as well as like you enjoy. So I just feel like I needed just a week of a detox off um, of YouTube. Um, I oh my god! If you're new to this channel as well and new to this video, I'm not usually like this. I just need to get it open to my regular occurring viewers who I love and I always open up to. I just find social media quite quite tense at the minute. Quite, I don't wanna to say toxic because I feel like that word is thrown around so much. But I find it quite hard at the minute. I feel like so many people are on each other and it's turning into one of those really negative places where I find it quite hard to be on. So even Sunday, like Sunday just gone, I just was on, off social media the whole day because it just bugs me down. And I'm feeling like really lonely at the minute. Like really lonely. And I don't wanna spend my day on social media just looking at loads of negativity and like trolling when I could just be like watching Superstore. So that's what I did. I'm okay and I know there are so many other people um, in worse off positions. My heart goes out to them, but this is how I feel, and it's important for me to share that with you because I don't want to be a fake <laughs> um, <laughs> Moving on from the really sad stuff, I'm absolutely fine. I just need these days where I go to my parents, I vent about how I'm feeling, I get all, um, what's the word? Like I get it back, I like, I get my, my zhuzh back, I just need them hours, like once a month with my parents, just to d evaluate everything, debrief, because like I said, it's just me. And I've been doing this now <laughs> for a year where I feel like it's just been me. And I'm getting in my head and I'm getting annoyed at myself because all I'm seeing is me. Like, all, all, it's just me, all the time. It's my voice, it's my face, and I'm so dedicated to bringing you guys the best content because it helps me, it makes me feel less alone, it makes you feel less alone. But sometimes it gets to the point where I'm like, I cannot look at my face anymore. <laughs> but I count my blessings every single day and I'm so lucky to have you guys as support. But it wouldn't be normal if I was bouncing off the walls, flashing me tits every single day. We're gonna be eating more food, yay! Also, I've decided this jumper is my favorite. Daydreamer, I'm a daydreamer. Um, I love dreaming about days that are in the future. And this was 10 pound from Tesco. Okay, so if you've been living under a rock or you're just not on TikTok, you will not understand where this next video comes from. Little moons, more like little shits because they're so hard to get hold of. I have never known anything like it. It was like being in school and people were trying to get Pokemon cards and they were always out of stock. Soft mochi and gelato ice cream. Um, these have just been an absolute treasure hunt to find. I managed to find them in a Waitrose and a Lidl and I just thought it'd be fun for us to just cozy up on a snow day. It's like really snowing outside. And we can just try ice cream because that just makes sense, doesn't it? These were the, these were so hard to get. Like I can't even tell you. These were what more difficult than getting bloody Willy Wonka's Christmas um, invitation. Christmas invitation? I mean, 
Not sure it was a Christmas invitation, but that sounds amazing. Imagine Willy Wonka's chocolate factory at Christmas. Oh my God. The only ones I could find that are a few more. We've got the Little Moons Bite Side Adventures Cookie Dough Ice Cream Bites. Now, obviously this is not the mo Mochi. Mochi. Guys, if you're new here, I'm sorry I can't pronounce things sometimes. Just love it. These look so cute. The Passion Fruit and Mango Totally Tropical. Honey Roasted Pistachio Nutty Perfection. The Belgian Chocolate Smooth and Indulgent. Now, I feel like the only one that I didn't manage to get was the Creamy Coconut because I didn't want to be too crazy and spend too much time out of the flat. How are you guys anyway? I hope you guys are okay. I hope you didn't miss me too much. You probably didn't even notice I was gone. But um, <laughs> yeah. Little Moon's Bite Size Adventures. Uh, so cute. Um, passion Fruit and Mango Soft Moochie. Vegan Friendly Gelato Ice Cream Moochie Treats. Youthful Calories 69 per ball. No, Joyful Calories 69 per ball. Made with Casho Milk. Oh my god. Okay. Right, it's just like the TikToks. Okay, five minutes before eating. Wait five minutes. Okay. The smell smells like I could cry. It smells like a porn star martini on the beach in Spain with my friends getting ready on the balcony, ready to go out. Okay, I just want to appreciate. Oh my god, I almost don't want to eat it because it looks so beautiful. Okay. Okay, the texture. Oh no. <laughs> oh my God. Never in my life have I ever had passion fruit ice cream either. Like I always get it when I have bubble tea because it is one of my favorite things ever. But um, I rarely get like passion fruit, the actual fruit, because it's quite messy, isn't it? I don't always know how to eat it. But when I say that is one, <laughs> that is one of them. I I was so prepared for this video to be like, nee, 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 nee. no, okay, like they're not worth the hype. But I could literally deep throw all six of these in ten seconds. I just don't know. I didn't. I don't like. I know these are very popular uh, before this little moon's craze. I know they're a popular um, dessert or sweet treat. I don't know what I was expecting. I wasn't expecting the sensation of that smell hitting me straight up the nose. Okay, so far, I'm sorry, 11 out of 10. These are gonna be my favorite things for the rest of my life. To be fair, out of all of these, I was excited for the cookie dough ones, um, but starting, that was strong. That was strong. I think these are five pound each as well. So this is the one my sister was really excited about. The um, gluten-free honey roasted pistachio, joyful calories, 71 per bowl. So this is honey roasted pistachio. Another type of ice cream I have never had. The only types of ice cream I ever eat in my entire life is vanilla, like the, um, uh, yeah, just normal vanilla, mint chocolate chip, and lemon, and obviously like Mr. Whippy. I never like branch out into anything new. Okay, smells like Christmas day. I just, I don't know why I usually have pistachio nuts like around Christmas. This one I can't smell, okay? You know how I love to smell my food. I'm weird, I would never do it on a date. Um, I just like to do it when I'm testing things just to give you the full experience. If you ever want to take me out on a date, don't worry, I won't sniff the food before I eat it. <laughs> Whoa! I don't know why, this one feels more tough. Oh, there's bits of nut in it. Can you see that? Oh my God, this is amazing, this one. I feel like the outer shell is thicker in this one. This is more tough. Oh, wow. This is a very romantic one. 
if that makes sense. Like I think passion fruit would be like a nice little, um, I don't know, like a fun little sweet 16 party. But this honey roasted one, like for the more mature people who love a good taste. Okay, now this is in a different league of its own when it comes to the passion fruit. The passion fruit one is absolutely stunning. Um, I, I, I've got nothing to say. They taste exactly what they say on the lid. And sometimes you do get a little bit like, oh, are they going to taste amazing? Because like, you know when some things are so popular online, there's always that sort of group of people. It's like, ah, it's not worth the hype. But for me, these are worth the hype. I really like them. They're different. They're exciting. They are like bite-sized adventures. It does not make you look forward to something different than your average scoop. The next one we have is the, sorry, the best thing about this phone case is that I could drop it from an airplane and it would not break. It's like army, it's like insane, but the silencer thing is stuck in here, so I can't turn it off. Um, so I have to have my phone out loud all the time, otherwise I just won't hear it. So moving on to the um, Belgian chocolates. Okay, now I'm not a fan of chocolate ice cream. I'm gonna get abuse and people are gonna unsubscribe, but that's just how I feel. Chocolate ice cream is just not, I love chocolate. I love chocolate. But, oh, it smells like cocoa powder. Um, but chocolate ice cream is just not for me. It never has been. I love chocolate cake. I love chocolate bars. I love chocolate eggs. Chocolate ice cream, I don't know why. This is really powder. This is really powdery. Okay, let's just do it. It smells like the um, like the fine chocolate baking blah, blah, thing. You know, like the chocolate baking powder. Looks like a poo. Um, no. Uh uh. No, no, no. Oh, I'm just not a fan of chocolate ice cream. Look how thick that one is. Look, the, the, the rim, like the mochi, mochi. Sorry. Alexa, how do you pronounce mochi? I pronounce that how, but I'm always working on how I say things and I might not have it right. Eh? Alexa. Little moons. Sorry, I don't know that one. <sighs> Come on, get up to speed, would ya? What are little moons? Shuffling songs by Little Mix on Amazon Music. I'm afraid to say the Belgian chocolate has not won my heart at all in the slightest. I love chocolate cookies. I just don't like chocolate ice cream. Is anyone with me on this? I, I just feel like it doesn't taste like chocolate. It's so weird. I've just never liked chocolate ice cream. Right, okay, moving on to the final one. This video is gonna be so short, don't hate me. Cookie dough ice cream bites. Now, obviously they're still the little moons, but they're not the soft mochi. Forget digging for dough and chasing those chunks. We freed the cookie dough with our adventurous twist on a classic treat. Cookie dough in every bite guaranteed. Now the creators of these are laughing all the way to the bank. Oh, okay. Okay. Mm. What am I doing? I love cookies so much. I, if you follow me on Instagram, you know how many times I eat cookies, especially white chocolate ones. This doesn't smell like a cookie, but I'm actually really impressed, you know? Really impressed with that. It ju I just feel like I don't want to eat it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you know what they need to do? A mint chocolate chip one. Imagine being the creator of little of these. Coming up with new flavours. I mean, yeah, it's frozen cookie dough. And it tastes, oh my God, that is beautiful. Oh, couldn't really have it with a cup of tea though. I mean, you could. 
thing is with these as well, like, I've got really sensitive teeth and I was really worried that it was gonna make my teeth really sensitive. But I'm chomping into these like bloody Godzilla. Okay, I am pleasantly surprised. These definitely lived up to their expectation. But this is obviously gonna be shared with my belly and my family. Um, because my family have been very excited for these to try. Okay, so my favorite one. Oh my God, what's my favorite one? It's definitely between the honey roasted pistachio and the passion fruit and mango. I just feel like Favourite, second favourite, third favourite, fourth favourite. I'm sure if you're a chocolate ice cream fan, you're going to absolutely bum this. Um, these are definitely worth, worth the hype. I'm so excited that I managed to get hold of them. Um, I did feel like one of the Goonies on like a pirate adventure trying to find these little balls of joy. But yeah guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I love you so much. Thanks for always being so understanding and amazing and perfect. I'm gonna go brush my teeth now. I love you guys so much. Take care and I shall see you.